On the 12th of December in the year 2000, the United States Supreme Court delivered its decision in the case of Bush versus Gore. Welcome to History Pod. The case emerged from the contentious 2000 presidential election between Republican candidate George W. Bush and Democratic candidate Al Gore. The outcome of the election hinged on the state of Florida, where the result would determine the winner of the presidency. Consequently, the state's election results were intensely scrutinised due to reported irregularities, controversies over ballot design and issues related to vote counting. As the legal wrangling intensified, the case eventually found its way to the United States Supreme Court. The central question before the court was whether the recount of disputed ballots in Florida should continue as ordered by the Florida Supreme Court or if it violated the Equal Protection Clause of the 14th Amendment. In a momentous decision, the Supreme Court, in a 5-4 to four ruling, effectively halted the ongoing manual recount in Florida, arguing that the varied recount standards used across different counties violated the principle of equal protection under the law. The majority opinion, delivered by the court's conservative justices, asserted that the lack of consistent recount standards created the potential for arbitrary and unequal treatment of ballots. This decision had immediate and far-reaching consequences. By stopping the recount, the court essentially handed Florida's electoral votes to George W. Bush, securing his victory in the state and, consequently, the presidency. The ruling sparked a mix of reactions, with some praising the court for providing a resolution to the prolonged electoral uncertainty, while others criticised it for perceived judicial intervention in the democratic process. The case continues to raise questions about the role of the judiciary in resolving election disputes and regularly sparks debate about the potential impact of legal decisions on the democratic electoral process. <laughs>